Franklin, Center Stack, uh, I want to talk today about how we can get a file server migrated to Amazon S3 in five minutes or less. So we're going to show how uh, Center Stack allows you to reuse your existing shares, permissions, and Active Directory identities to reduce the cost of migration, especially as it relates to training and configuration. With me today is my colleague, uh, Jeff Reed. He's one of our solution architects, very capable, and he's going to show us how we can get this done uh, by leveraging the host version of CenterStack. So without any further ado, I'm going to switch over to Jeff. Jeff, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Sounds good. All right, Jeff, I made you presenter. If you can show, show your screen. Hopefully you see it now. Yep. All right. So, Jeff, uh, tell us a little bit about what you've got configured here as far as your file server is concerned. Yep. So, this is, a, this is a Windows Server uh, 2016 machine with a couple of uh, shares, one for the sales group and one for a support group. And you'll see that okay. this is actually a few files that are in each share uh, for the purposes of this test. And what I'd like to do is migrate uh, this to CenterStack. Okay, sounds good. So let's walk through the process of getting that migration done. So we'll walk through uh, registering as a partner, configuring a tenant, downloading the agent, uploading the shares, migrating the shares and users, and then the user experience. So let's start then by navigating to the CenterStack site and registering as a partner in the account. So I've already uh, signed in and registered, but uh, the first time uh, registration page looks like this, but we'll skip out of here and I will sign in is an account I just recently created. There's an empty tenant uh, that I created ahead of time here, but uh, within hosted center stack, uh, but there's no uh, shares migrated at this point. Okay. Okay. Um, well, just so people don't think we're cheating, uh, the, the things that we're skipping through really take no time to just um, web configurations. So the bulk of the time really is spent uh, downloading, installing the client, and uh, of course, th the migration of the shares. So we want to show how fast that part is. All yeah. right, so Jeff, let's go ahead and log into that uh, tenant and see if we can get that agent downloaded to your server. Right, so I have a tenant admin in that tenant. Okay. And the server agent uh, download is here. Awesome. And we're 64-bit file server. Now, this server, I've actually already installed the server agent to save a little bit of time, but it's as uh, simple as uh, running this MSI installer. It'll actually say that it's already installed. We're going to skip out of here in the interest of time, and right. we'll navigate to the first-time user experience that the user sees um, when the server agent fires up. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So we install the server agent. We rebooted the machine, and now we have the opportunity to migrate the shares. So let's see right. how long that's going to take us. Okay. So you're migrating the sales folder. All right. All right. And we're going to migrate all the permissions. And synchronizing permissions automatically. Cool. All right. All right. And so we'll so we picked these up. Uh, so Jeff, let's make sure I'm understanding this. So yep. uh, on that previous screen, we picked up those collaborators from the share permissions on the machine automatically. Yeah, that's correct. And we can actually see the you know there's a difference in the sharing permissions on the two shares. Uh, support share or team folder has a support group, and uh, sales has the sales group. And awesome. okay, didn't want to click that. I want to migrate some users. There's a couple of test users here. All right that will migrate. Uh, Neil is in the support group and Zig is in the sales group. All right. And we don't need Good. to send them email. And we can actually uh, skip this because they're getting the permissions to access the team folders via the uh, sharing permissions and the NTFS permissions. Okay. Uh, so then we should be able to go to a Client machine. So this is another virtual Wait, machine. Wait, so Jeff, let me just pause because yep. maybe that happened too fast. So, so you're telling me that once you got through that interface, uh, those shares have been migrated to CenterStack are now available from the client. Yeah. So we can look at it from the server end, right? Uh, so the uh, team folders that we just migrated are displayed here, sales and support, and they correspond to the uh, share folders on the Windows Server 2016 machine, and the collaborators. Cool 
correspond to the share level permissions and the folder permissions correspond to the NTFS permissions. Of Excellent. The all right, so everything's, so everything's all migrated to the cloud. Okay, let's prove it. Let's go to the client and see what happens when Zig logs in. Right, so Zig can see the sales team folder, but he can't see the support team folder. So there's a couple of Word documents in there. He could download them. Uh, do we want to okay. sign in as uh, Neil? Sure, why not? We can Neil do can that. Is that right? I think so. I suppose I could copy it from somewhere if that's not the right email address for Neil. There's Neil. All right. And he's a support folder. Excellent. Cool. Right. I guess we'll go ahead and show what it looks like in the uh, desktop client for Windows. Sure. So now this is going to create a map drive on the desktop for direct access. Right. So prior uh, to installing it, we just have a C drive, and I guess there's a share there, but no M drive until this is installed. No, oh, and then I'm not a local administrator of this machine, so bear with me. And we should see the sign-in prompt shortly. Oh, that's right. It does it in the uh, context of the user that signed in, right? So this is Neil. Okay. Right? Cool. And there's the M drive with the support team folder in it and the files that are awesome. migrated. Awesome, awesome. Cool. So all our features, sync on demand, versioning, file locking, all these things are now enabled on this drive um, for Neil's access based on that quick migration. Um, from the server agent into our hosted environment. Excellent. All right, so, um, so there you have it, guys. Uh, I, know, I know this video took a little longer than five minutes, but um, presumably when you're doing this without two chatty engineers on the line, you can get this done very quickly. <laughs> <laughs>